Hello all. Today we are going to study about the first order, zero order or second order system. We are going to practically visualize the first order as well as the second order and the zero order system. As you know, zero order system output follows the input and in the first order system, as you know, the steady state improves as increase the gain. In the second order system, you know, settling time, rise time, decay time comes in. So let us practically visualize the first order zero order system. As you can see the DSO and the setup here, we can make the zero order, first order and second order system on this setup. First, I have connected the square input through this probe. As you can see the square input on the DSO, I can increase or decrease the amplitude by the potentiometer according to my need. As I have already connected the second probe to visualize the output. Let us first see the input on this uh, DSO. As you can see the input, I can increase or decrease the amplitude by the potentiometer which is on the setup. Uh, now you can visualize the output as well. You can see I can increase or decrease the amplitude by the potential meter you can see. As you know the zero order system is proportional to the input and so the more I increase or decrease the input the output follows the input. As you can see the output follows the input multiplied by some gain that is it. So you can visualize the input as well as the output. The yellow one is the input and the blue one is the output. So you can see the zero order system very clearly. Let us make the first order system now as we have time constant in the setup. So I will connect the time constant that is 1 divided by 1 plus s tau to make the first order system. So I have connected already the input that is the square input and I will see what will be the output uh, now if I have connected the, this time constant that is 1 divided by 1 plus s tau. So how the first order will look like. I get I haven't given the feedback so I will first visualize what will be the open loop first order system. The first order system. No, but uh, this is open loop first order system. So the first order system is unstable. The gain will increase but the system is unstable. So what we will do, we will give the feedback and we will see how the system will uh, how the system will become stable and the steady state error will decrease. So what we will do, we will give a feedback. Now we will give the feedback through the amplifier and we will connect the feedback here. So now what we will see the output now I have given the feedback as you can see we have the input square input so now we will see the feedback how the uh, output will come out of the first order system as I will increase the gain you know the more I increase the gain the steady state error will reduce you can see the I am increasing the gain I am increasing the gain the steady state error will reduce and it will try to become like the input the steady state will try to become zero. You can see the blue one is the uh, output and uh, this yellow one is the input. So in the first order system, you know the steady state error gets reduced by increasing the gain. So this is the first order system. Now we are going to make the second order system. As you know in the second order system, we have two time constants, one divided by one plus s tau. So I have to connect two time constants. So already I have connected one. Now I will connect the second time constant and we will see the how the output would like look like in the second order system so i will connect the second time constant now i will I, have, I will give the feedback and i will see how the output will look like in the second order system we have already connected the input as you know yellow is the input so we will see the output how the second order system will look like as you can see the blue one is the second order system as you know in the second order system, this is the under damper system. So we have the rise time, peak time, settling time. If you want to see over damped critically damped system or you can you want to measure these values rise time, peak time. I have already made the videos. You can watch my channel. Uh, thank you very much.